Hi Soul Family, this is Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your weekly love reading from August the 27th through September the 3rd. So I've already completed my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I've completed my air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Now I'm on to my water signs. So next I have is Pisces. Okay. Um, before I get started, let me just say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate all the messages. I really appreciate all the comments. Um, and I appreciate the likes and the unlike or the thumbs downs, whatever. <laughs> but I do appreciate your time and energy um, just watching the videos that I put together. I really appreciate it. Um, before I get into that, I have uh, my four groups of love, right? So my first group, I call it my uh, mushy gushy love. My under 30 from ages 16, 18 to 30, right? Butterflies in the stomach, can't wait to see each other, can't wait to hold hands, kiss in public, share ice cream cone together, go to the movies, eat out the same popcorn bucket, <laughs> talk on the phone late at night, fall asleep on the phone late at night, listen to each other breathe on the phone late at night. My mushy gushy love, right? My next group is um, anywhere from 31 to about 46. I'm career minded, nine to fives, children, pets, responsibilities, car notes, mortgages, rent. And by the end of the day, you're just tired. <laughs> you don't have time for love, right? but you still want love, right? So you usually meet an introvert, they don't talk at all, and you're an extrovert, you talk too much, and what do you do? You pick a movie where you sit and watch a movie and look at the screen for two to three hours and you start the relationship with no communication. <laughs> that is the basis of your relationship, no communication, right? My next group, 47 to 62, my adventure, Go-getters, hiking, traveling, cruise taking, sports events, right? You love the action, getting in the action, being a part of the action. Why? Because you like to people watch. You like to keep your options open, always looking. <laughs> and then my last group, over 63, my uh, true love group, my... Uh, Two of Cups love, the lovers, the, the end of times, the growing old together, right? Because you grab your cane, they grab their cane, you walk around the neighborhood or you wheel each other to the park. <laughs> you sit on the park bench and you talk to the squirrels, you feed the birds, you might fall asleep, you might read a book together. You look up, it's almost three or four o'clock, and you know you have to catch that blue plate dinner special, right? $5.99 with the drink included. <laughs> That's the highlight of the light of the day. You go home, you sit on the sofa, fall asleep around seven, eight o'clock. Wake up and realize you need to take your wig off and your partner, they need to take their teeth out. <laughs> that is yummy gummy love. That is true love. Two of Cups, the lovers, forever, growing old. That's what you want. That is what you want. Yes, you do. That's what you want. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit. Um, so moving into the reading for uh, Pisces. Yeah. For the week of August the 27th through September the 3rd, this is your love reading. All right. I've already set my intentions. I've already done my prayer. Let's get into the pre-shuffle. Pisces, <clears throat> August the 27th, September the 3rd, Pisces. What kind of love do we have for Pisces? Do we have love for Pisces? Is Pisces manifesting love? Is there love for Pisces? Pisces. Hmm. 
Pisces, your focus. Oh, the Eight of Swords. With the Emperor, Major Arcana. Five of Coins. And the King of Cups. You also have the Seven of Cups. With Death, Major Arcana. And the Nine of Wands. Let's bring it down so you can see what I see. Pisces, your focus. The Eight of Swords. Feeling tied and bound. With the Emperor, Major Arcana. Possibly an Aries. The Five of Coins, feeling left out in the cold. And the King of Cups. I feel like this is you, Pisces. Coming through as a king. I remember, it's just a picture. Whether it's male or female, it's all about the energy. This is you, Pisces. Hmm. All right. With the Seven of Cups. Options, choices, variety. And the Death card. Major Arcana. Could be a possible Scorpio. And the Nine of Wands. I have a little bit of everything on the board, Pisces. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have fire with the Aries, the emperors, the Aries, and the sword, Aquarius, Gemini, or even Libra. This could be any sign, right? Pisces. I believe this is you taking on this King of Cup energy. Compassionate leader, loving and kind, but you don't wear your emotions on your sleeve. A father or mother figure, leader in your community trustworthy and reliable. Pisces, I believe you 
you tried to offer your cup to this emperor. The king of all kings. A leader, a CEO, a father figure, spiritual, great wisdom, wealthy, powerful, connected, knows how to get things done. and loves only who he wants to love when he wants to love. <laughs> it looks like Pisces. You were left out in the cold. And you're up in your head, feeling trapped and bound about this situation. But you have all these swords around you. You can just cut these ropes or these vines away take off the blindfold, walk away, and get up and brush yourself back off and walk in the house and close the door. <laughs> Leave this emperor in the driveway as you close the door, right? But Pisces, I think this emperor they had a lot of options. You know why? They're the emperor. <laughs> They're always going to have options. Even if you're their true love, this person will probably always have options because they can. And you're always going to go through battles. emotionally scarred. Physically tired, maybe from even lots of arguing, misunderstandings, yep, miscommunication. But it looks like With this death card, you're putting an end to that. You're not resurrecting anything new. Because after all, They may be an emperor, but you're also a king. Standing in your own power. Taking off the blindfold, releasing yourself from anxiety, pain, lies, deception. You're not going to fight anymore. 
This is done. You're not going to fight anymore. You're not going to be second best. You're not going to be left out in the cold, waiting on phone calls, waiting on plans, putting your life on hold. No. Nope. You're standing in your own power. Because they have options. You're an option, Pisces. Which option are you? Because there's seven. I don't think you're going to remain an option. I see you putting a death to this. I think you're going to start on a new path. Go about your business. Being the king. Find you a queen to rule this earth with. Someone who puts you first as the one and only option and offer your cup of love to that person. Pisces, this is your love reading from August the 27th through September the 3rd. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you need a personal reading, I can be reached at latanya at sagisoul.com. Let's get some cards of inspiration. What are you going to do, Pisces? Are you going to be an option? Or are you going to be the king or queen that you were meant to be? That you were born to be? In the midst of a meltdown, I breathe through the discomfort and come out the other side. Yep. That's what you're going to do. You're going to take a breath, fresh air. Pull yourself together. Come out of the cold. Close the door on the situation. And start over again. When in doubt, I choose to see peace. Behind you, the sun is bright and is ready for a new day. The fish are jumping, new beginnings. Someone wants to fill your cup of love, Pisces. Someone out there for you. Think positive and manifest this. When in doubt, I choose to see peace because you are a king or a queen. You deserve the best. Pisces, this is your love reading, August the 27th through September the 3rd. Thank you, guys. Thank you, soul family.